Okay, so we know OnePlus 7 series users have been waiting for Oxygen OS 12.1 stable build from a long time. But OnePlus is least bothered about those devices or those users. But don't worry guys, OnePlus 7 series have one of the great support of custom ROM. So instead of waiting for Android 12, let's install Android 13 and which will give you pure stock experience. So in this video, let's talk about one of the most loved custom ROM in custom ROM community, which is Pixel Experience ROM. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so here we have our OnePlus 7 Pro on which I'm running Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 13. I've almost used this device for two days now let me show you the software information here you can see android version is android 13 we do have the security patch of 5th september 2022 and guys one thing you need to keep in mind most of the android 13 custom rooms will be in beta stages so you might encounter some or the other issues but there is nothing major issue and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video first let me show you the benchmark results i did notice bit of lower scores but these number doesn't really matter in day-to-day -day usage my one plus seven with single core have scored 689 and mid multi-core device has scored 2313 we also performed cpu throttling test wherein max cpu throttled up to 82 percent and we did not see any kind of throttling issues so basic services like calling including wi-fi calling did work fine with no issues here you can see the wi-fi calling icons on the contact numbers or the dial numbers Alert slider also works fine with no issues. Did not encounter any kind of issues with the Bluetooth connectivity wherein I've used almost 2-3 years old Samsung Buds Plus. There were zero delays in the audio. So as you guys know, this is a Pixel ROM and it comes with Pixel Experience Launcher pre-installed. So here you can see app info, it says Pixel Experience Launcher. Don't expect much of customizations, but you do get basic functionalities in the launcher itself. After that, under wallpaper and styles, as Android 13 comes with more color palettes, the same stuff is being added on Pixel Experience ROM also, which do shows the colors which are present on your wallpaper. Then we have some basic color options also. If you want them, you can make changes from here. Here too. App grid size, maximum grid size we have up to 5 into 5. When it comes to widgets, we have similar support of widgets which we get to see on Android 13. For example, here we have the battery widget, so which will show you the phone battery and if you have any Bluetooth connected. So for example, we have connected our Samsung Buds Plus that shows me the battery level of those Buds too. Swiping towards the right side will give you the option of Google Feed. This is how notification appears on the lock screen. So if you have too many notification, a separate pill appears towards the bottom side. Though here it's overlapping the fingerprint icon, but these things are very minimal and can be easily manageable. We do have the always on display support, which gives you all the basic information what is required on your AOD. Towards the bottom side, you can see the battery percentage and fingerprint unlock works perfectly fine. So this is the media control on Android 13. This is how it's going to look and this do adapts to the color of the song thumbnail. And this is how the progress bar looks in a wavy format up to where song have been played. And if you change the song, this will adapt to the color of that particular song thumbnail as you can see. And everything related to media player adapts to the same color. For example, the volume panel from where you can control the volume of your connected devices or if you are playing the music on your device that can also be controlled from here. In app drawer we do get the global search options instead of that limited search which we see on some other OEMs. And soon you install the ROM guys these are only pre-installed application which you guys gonna see on Pixel Experience ROM. You do get the Play Store pre-installed so you can download whichever application is required for you. And as said guys don't expect much of customization options on Pixel Experience ROM because these ROMs are meant for stability, pure stock experience and a good battery life. By default you'll get this AOSP camera which I generally never use but if you want to use the Google camera application I'll provide that in the description below. Here we have the Google camera APK which I have installed in which all the lenses are working fine. So this Google camera application I'll provide you guys in the description below you guys can download. So moving on to the battery backup as said, I did use this ROM for almost 2 days and if you talk about the battery backup, according to my usage, 
I got 4 hours and 32 minutes of screen on time wherein my OnePlus 7 battery have still not been replaced. I'm using the battery which came out of the box. So for me it's a good battery backup on Pixel Experience room but as always battery backup depends on tons of factor and it might vary for every individual. And talking about the charging speed there were no issues to be seen while charging the device. Maximum milliampere went up to 3380 and minimum up to 3000 milliampere. Tap to wake device works perfectly fine and guys we don't get the support of face unlock feature only we have one support that's fingerprint unlock there are some good gestures present for example quick tap to start actions so this is a very useful gesture which mostly we have seen on pixel devices so enabling this feature either you can take a screenshot access your digital assistant play or pause music and this works perfectly fine let me show you one example now so as you can see we have selected double tap for screenshot if i double tap on the back it will take a screenshot there we go so you can use these quick tap gestures to control a lot of things on your device and now talking about some of the issues which i have noticed on this pixel experience room based on android 13 and one of them is layer to alert slider the alert slider works perfectly fine with no issues but you don't get to see the icon in the status bar so here you can see if i move the alert slider there are no icons to be seen in the status bar but if you swipe down the quick setting panel you can only see the icon of vibration nothing else so this is again a very minor issue which can be sorted out in upcoming updates and another thing which i noticed was layer to calling services so whenever i call any number i don't get to hear the ringing tone or anything until user picks up the call i'm not sure whether it's an issue with my device or my particular network but you guys can try it out i'm just mentioning you guys because this is what i noticed on this build and after that netflix application doesn't open though we do have the support of wide wide l1 uh, let me show you drm info so here if you see security level is l1 so you won't have any kind of issues with the full hd content on ott platforms the only one issue which i found out and that's related to netflix application which doesn't even open on my device So guys this was the first look at Pixel Experience Room along with some of the bugs which I encountered. Now let's take a look at the installation process. So to install Pixel Experience Room first of all you need to make sure your device bootloader is unlocked and you should be running the latest build of Oxygen OS 11 instead of Oxygen OS 12 open beta 1. And after that unlock your bootloader and then you need few files so let me show you those files. One will be the platform tools. I'll provide all the links in the description below and later you will require partition zip file pixel experience rom file and pixel experience recovery so these three files are required download them and place them inside the platform tools after that connect your device to pc open command prompt by typing cmd in the address bar and hit enter first check whether your device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not by giving command fast boot devices and hit enter So if you see the serial number that means the device is properly connected in fast boot mode. Now we need to boot the custom recovery of Pixel Experience. For that give the command. So this will be the command fast boot flash boot and now you can drag and drop the recovery file. So here we have the recovery file. We'll just drop it and hit enter. And if you don't get any kind of errors that means you have successfully flashed the recovery file. Now use the volume key to navigate to recovery mode and press the power key. So here we can see now we have pixel recovery installed so once you boot into pixel recovery what you have to do is tap on apply updates apply from adb now you need to give a command adb side load and you need to copy this partition file just drag and drop here hit enter and wait for the process to complete so here you can see process have already started on our OnePlus 7 Pro Now once this process is completed just go back and reboot recovery by going to advanced reboot recovery once you are back into recovery just for once perform factory reset format data and now again go back apply updates apply from adb now again give a command adb side load drag and drop the rom file this process might take around 5 to 7 minutes so once it's completed we'll be good to go so let's hit enter now and the process should start here so after installation process is completed just go back and reboot system now and there we go we have the boot animation of pixel experience on a oneplus 7 pro so guys this was the first look 
and the installation process of Pixel Experience Roam based on Android 13 for OnePlus 7 series. If you still have any kind of questions, you guys can let us know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.